Okay, so look how curly it came out. Isn't that cool? I used Clarifying Shampoo by Soma, um, but it has the pH balance, so it really was beautiful. And people had asked me certain things. There's six million people that watch that haircut. That's pretty funny. Um, so I'm gonna do it down to my part. Okay, now last time I took a diamond from the back and going up. And so somebody said, is it bigger in the back? But I mean, you could make it bigger in the back. Again, it's gonna depend on what you want and you gotta think about what it's gonna look like. That's the most important thing. You have to use your imagination when you're doing hair. And so I wanna apologize that, you know, I sometimes lisp um, because of my jaw. I have TMJ sometimes. And it kind of, I bite the back of my tongue sometimes. So I noticed that in my videos too, I never realized. Okay, so I want fullness right in here. So I'm going to take a, take a space there, take a space here, get all this out of the way. Okay. Oh, okay, I wanna get that out of the way too. It's gonna be my side. I just want the part only. Now, I really want this shorter, okay? So, see my hands right there? That's too long, that piece. I'm gonna put you back a little bit so you can really see it. Okay, now, my fingers are on the side, okay, but I'm going to cut that off. And you know I like softness, so I'm gonna comb that back up. I'm gonna grab it. See, it definitely needs softness. And you just kinda are cutting into it, nice and gentle, nice and soft. You just need a little bit of texture, and I always need texture. Okay. All right, so that's one piece. Now I'm gonna grab the next piece with it. It's on the side. I'm gonna bring it straight up. Now I did do this haircut on Dawn the other day. When I went live, there you go. There's the hair you need to get off. And what it will do is make a beautiful layer. Beautiful layer. Okay. And now I just want to cut into that. Okay. Get that out. It's a little messy when you're doing this, but. All right, now. I really feel like I need this. I don't feel like I need a ton in here. I will take this piece right here. Now I love it to uh, cascade down right from here. I don't really like that this is longer, so I really want it to be on an angle. So I'm gonna pull that. Now listen, I'm gonna go behind it. See that piece right there? I'm gonna go right after it. And I'm just gonna go down. All right, now do the thing. I might have to take it again and change that angle a little bit and I have to go up. Cause I can see my point is here and I'm gonna go straight up. There we go. Now I wanna cut into that a little too, a little softness. Okay. Yeah, I love pieces around my face. I need one more piece right there, I see it. See it? There you go. See, it needs to come down. Just remember that. So you want it to kind of cascade going down. All right now, that's the extension is right there. I'm gonna go up, this is your end, and you go up that end. And then this is my hair. See right there? I'm gonna get that little part. Okay, good. Now I will take it on the angle just to see where it's at, how much off it is, because it will be a little off. I'm gonna over direct it a little bit. Yeah, see, it's a lot. See that? So I'm just gonna do a little bit of it. I'm not gonna quite go to my fingers exactly, especially in the back. Now you could already see that it's gonna have fullness. I want to take this part because I need to take this on a 90 degree angle because I need to get some of those layers off of those extensions. They're two one length. All right, right there. Notice that extensions definitely have to be uh, softened. 
because then they could be too, too heavy and too much. Now I'm gonna also just take another piece up. Okay, right there. I just need a little more. See from here to there, I have to cut that piece off right there. And then you can, tap, you can get in there. Okay, that was good there. Now I have to get this part. Now this is my back. So basically you would divide the back in half and then you bring it forward. I want to bring it out like a 90 degree angle, straight out. Uh, look at that big chunk. That's why it was so heavy. It was driving me crazy. Ugh. I knew I had to cut those extensions. I knew it. But I was so happy that you guys love me cutting my hair. So now I can teach you more. Um, but, I, you know, I was going to take the extensions out. Because they were way too heavy. And bulky. I want to say they were bulky. And if anybody knows that word bulky, you'll understand what I mean. You know, layers wants to be light and airy and fluffy. It does not want to be weighed down. Okay, you always pull the hair so you see. Look at that piece right there. That does not belong there. Oh yeah, so much better. So much more layered. Now look at the difference. See how like one length this is here? And then you see how we put that, pull it straight out, that 90 degree angle, it layered this. And that's exactly what I needed because it was too heavy because I have so many layers here and then it was like late weighed down right here. Yeah, definitely looks better. Wait until you see it dry too. All right, so I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm gonna pick up this side and go all the way up. Okay, you're gonna check that. Okay, here we go, right there. Okay. Just texture. Mm. Oh, it feels so good. Just getting that weight off feels so, so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, now I'm going up high, going up to like where my part is. Okay, there we go. That's definitely what I gotta take off. Oh, okay. Definitely gotta texture it. Get in there. Just a little, and only do it where it needs it, like back here it needs it. Cause those are, I feel like the extensions are coming up. And you're always just pulling it straight up and on the angle, right? So if you see, it's kind of like going right to where my part would be, right there. Taking that off. Now listen, this is going towards my back. Oh. I need to take this out, 90 degree. Now listen, this is pretty much towards my back. Extensions are very hard to cut. You definitely have to be experienced and learn how to do them the right way. Okay, I'm taking a 90 degree angle. See, that's all the extra. Like and now I just need a little bit more on the bottom, like right there. And you're always looking, guys. You're using your imagination. You're you're using your senses to like, does it look good, right? That's the thing. You have to always use your five senses and your intuition to know, like, you know, to look at your hair to say, oh, this is heavy, or I like this lighter, or learn the style that fits you well. So I love my hair layers, and when I don't have layers in them, nobody cares. But as soon as I layer my hair, everybody's like always asking me where I got my hair cut. I'm like, yeah, I do it. That's because I know layers for so long, because I learned them when I was young from this guy Richie from Tangles. And then I also learned them from years of working with Bumble and Bumble at my old salon that I was at for 19 years. And that was at Gerber Salon. So 
it was really good to learn uh, all those extra things that I learned about layers because I already had a great foundation. So then you just become a master the more and more you learn about something that you're very good at. And um, that's, that's what happened and that became my sweet spot for you. Okay, now I'm gonna bring this up. This is my back now. Now look at this, I'm gonna go straight up. Okay, so you see the little part here, I gotta get that off. And just a little bit on that. Now I really need to texture that. And I probably need to notch it. Okay, so when I notch, I'm gonna bring it closer up. I really love to notch. So what you do is you just pick little tiny pieces, little tiny baby, and just slide it up. And then get those little hairs out. Now, why do I do that? Because it makes my hair fuller. Those little pieces, right, will, will hold up these longer pieces. If it's all long, it's just gonna go right down. Right? If you have four long pieces of hair, it'll go flat, it's too heavy. So you need something to texture it. All right, here we go. Now look at that, that's really bad. You can tell I haven't cut my back in a while. I have very, very good scissors. I really believe that you need good scissors. All right, let me do this part. Okay, this is my extension now. But you could definitely see how off that was. <laughs> Yikes. Thank God I cut my own hair, but I haven't cut the back in a long time. Okay, now I need to do this side a little bit extra. Now I got the very back and then I'm done with the haircut. See, it wasn't so long. If you know how to do it, very easy. Straight up. Oh, that's not too, too bad. And as long as you got the right angle, you can hold that hair. It's easier to rest your hand down. So you don't want to hold your hand all the way up here and cut it. You want to get that section and then you can rest it on your head and then cut it. As long as that is in your hand really tight. You're gonna, this is gonna be the way to check your haircuts. Do you understand? Like look at how good that is. You see, because I know how to cut the hair. The whole haircut is on an angle like this. It goes up like that. But you could take it anywhere and check your haircut when you're blow drying. That's the best part. That's how you'll know. Did you do a good job? Look, at it. it's gonna wrap around that brush. Perfect. There we go. Yep, I'll take the next one too, just to check it. Good, it looks great. Yep, I'm gonna dry it. And then the only thing I didn't do I'm gonna leave it because I want to see if you remember what I did on one side that I didn't do to the other. Let's see if you're paying attention. And I'll be back, I'm gonna try this and I'll be back and show you. Okay, so I'm gonna use Soma. And this is the best part about it, 4.5 to 5.5. That's your perfect pH for your hair. It is so good. I'm gonna do one, two, three. I'm gonna take it in my hands. And then I'm gonna pat, pat, pat. I really want that top nice and strong. And then, and I like my root. I'm gonna do three more. Product keeps your hair and holds it. That's what I love about it. Okay, I'm gonna flip it upside down and then we'll dry away. It should be the balanced haircut that I'm looking for, right? When you pull up from that hair, it should look like a big volume hair, right? And then you just take a brush and you set the hair. So easy. Make your life easier, make hairstyling easier. It just, make it easier on your bones and your body. Makes it so much better. And then I'll start with my bangs. I'm gonna grab my whole bang. Listen, I'm filming it first. I'm I don't always just 
blow dry hair with a brush. Like I will brush it with my hands. I will do it first with a brush and then I blow it out more by itself with no brush. So just know there's no perfect way. Now I'm gonna take the back part because I like my bangs, it came out really good. I'm gonna open the back part from here. And get those in, get those in, get those in. Important tip, I use my two fingers, my they're my clippers, my claws. So I, ha I hold this blow dryer with these two fingers, sometimes three, but really two. And I use these fingers to grab the hair. I'm going to get those in, get those in, and then I'm going to angle it a little bit going back. I'm, I haven't seen too much going down, so now I'm going to put it. And then I'm going to kind of see how I have to go back now. These are my extensions. I'm going to bring them forward first, and then I'm going to bring them back. It's done. Look at that volume. Woohoo! I love it. Listen, the higher the hair, the closer to God. <laughs> so, you see how all I have left is this piece right here. Everything else is nice volume and good and smooth and moisture. That 4.5, 5.5, that works, let me tell you. All right, now I got to do this section right here. So, I'm going to I'm gonna take this little part right here. This is an important part, really important. Probably the most important. I'm gonna take this, but I'm gonna drag it forward and let those little pieces go back. See, that's how we want it. And I like these flippies. And I want it a little bit forward, and then the next piece probably back. Love it, love it, love it. Look how nice those ends are, right? Those ends are so pretty. Can you see that? And look at the back. The back is kind of pretty much done already. So now I have to do this back side and then the front. And it's okay if you have hair that flips up or doesn't flip up. Like, it's no perfect way to, to blow dry it. You just want lots of body and volume and feathers. And then you break it up after. Because even after, you could just take your whole head. Because now I'm going to be going to sleep. And then it'll be so nice for tomorrow. It'll be gorgeous. And I just basically have to wake up and fluff it a little bit. And I'm good to go. We're good. What do you think? Thumbs up? I'm so excited to share this haircut with you. I can't wait to see yours. You could let me know if you send this to your hairstylist and she could do it and or now you know how to blow dry your hair yourself. I look forward to seeing your results. This is Coach Kimmy. Have a great day.